absolutely paramount to have safe streets. It's not just about being able to safely cross the street from your house to the thing across the street. It's about getting everywhere. We have uh, been a car-centric world for a long time. It's about time to make it people-centric. So Complete Streets as a movement has been formalized for on the order of 20 years. We had generations of creating bad streets before that, and it's really hard to change infrastructure. It takes time, it takes money, it takes overcoming people's natural fear of change. You learn uh, how unsafe folks really feel walking out their door every day as you start to talk to people every day. The roads were created just for the purpose of moving from one car from one spot to the other, but not necessarily people. As we think about complete streets, it reallocates road use, right? And for who, right? For most impacted people, for pedestrians, for people with disabilities, for people taking the bus, not just for cars. So many of our residents wanted a more vibrant and accessible community where they could walk and bike and really have greater access to many things that they've seen in other places in the country and around the world. What do we look for in a city itself to, to stay in the city? And that's essentially walking, making sure that all types of uh, uh, mobility features are, are there in the city. Uh, the kids are, are, are actually able to commute to school uh, either uh, by biking or walking and making sure that it's really safe. Unfortunately, over the last um, decade or so, Memphis has become the most dangerous city in the country for people using our streets. In our own state of Connecticut, sadly, in the last year, we had our highest rates of pedestrian and cyclist fatalities. We're doing great things for cars, but we're doing miserably when it comes to people on two feet and two wheels. It's really complicated because it's not about just crossing a street, it's about how do you get to that crossing, right? It's about why you're crossing the street. Are you trying to get to the convenience store because it's the only place to buy groceries in your whole neighborhood because you live in a food desert and that gas station is the only place that you can actually go buy like a gallon of milk? So complete streets come from a need that is expressed from our community. It has to come from the local staff, the local engineers and planners who are there for the long term. It also has to come from their elected officials and it's most effective when it's coming from their citizens as well. For me, Complete Streets have always been about the people most impacted, low-income people of color where I live in Albuquerque, being able to be at the table making the decisions and that means they have to identify the problems, solutions authentically. When you create wider sidewalks and street trees and cycling lanes, and you engineer safety into the road design as opposed to relying on traffic signaling. It all works. And people will use the space the way that, uh, in a human-centric rather than a car-centric way. Safety has always been a key element of the Complete Streets movement, but it's always been about more than just safety, right? If you just talk about safety, that's a defensive posture. For me, it's always been the elements of joy that a Complete Street brings to a place, the elements of economic vitality that Complete Streets can help bring to a place. And frankly, not just Complete Streets, but networks of Complete Streets where people understand that they have a real choice of how to get around their daily lives. You know, as a community, a nationwide community, right, we, we have a tendency to relabel old ideas, right? You know, 20 years ago, it was simple things like streetscape or context-sensitive design. Now it's sustainability or resiliency. So, you may be able to relabel complete streets down the road, but the reality is no matter what you call it, we're still trying to embrace safety and better healthy choices along our streets. The vision for Complete Streets in the communities I represent and Connecticut really is, I hope, an opportunity for someone to think as they go to work or they go to the grocery store or they go to pick up their kids that they don't feel that a car is the only option. We want everyone to feel like they are proud of their neighborhood, they're proud of where they live, they feel healthy. More people will have the chance to choose a place where, where mobility is part of what brings them joy and not frustration. Thank you.